Hey, this is a review of the 21 Lessons for the 21st Century by Yuval Noah Harari. This book is a sequel to Sapiens and Homo Deus. I did a review of those videos already, so go ahead and check those out or read the book yourself. Also, be sure to check out all the links I have listed below. And it is pretty straightforward what Nuval is talking about in this book. There's 21 lessons listed here about what does the future hold? How can we change things in the present to preserve the future for our children? Obviously, he's talking about environment, technology, connectedness, and information overload when we need to see clarity and the truth. I may repeat some of the things I said in the other reviews because this is very similar and this is just mostly an overview of what he's already said. He's an intellectual, historian, and a scientific type of... Some of the issues may be political authority, movements, whether it be gay or LGBT, and how can we prevent ecological Armageddon? Small countries don't really have a say in this. The big countries, the big dogs, control everything. I do find Yuval's work non-biased. However, he does have a gay agenda, and he does talk about gay rights. He does talk shit about Russia, and uses knowledge to put forth psychological explanations. I know when knowledge is just knowledge. The future is of AI, robots, and I like this term, the automation revolution. The terrorism issue is not a big issue as you think. It's more propped up by the media and the governments of the world. How is Yuval different? He extends all this knowledge he has into deeper topics. He focuses on the subconscious and concentrates on a technology meets history dynamic and puts forth the dilemma what should we do if there's a catch-22 and there's a choice? If we have to kill, what do the robots kill? And will these robots have chainsaws roaming around on some random algorithmic program? Some of the pros is he does go deep into liberalism. Individual's choice is put in the front. Be cautious of big data. And he shows how screwed up humans are. The consumption, the overconsumption, the killings, the lack of respect... And there's just way too much info in this world where we need to simplify it down. That's why this is somewhat a reading channel. Take action and communicate with real people. He does sprinkle humor all over the book and makes it interesting and more human. He tackles beliefs and can make you confront all the BS you believe on social media. And some of the cons, he has his views and agenda, as I mentioned, the gay agenda. He can be a bit pessimistic on humans. Robots are taking over. All the humans are low-skilled. What are we going to do? He downplays nationalism, since he is from Israel, and compares his own to the U.S., which is completely different. He does have maybe like a smug of anti-Americanism. Other countries are right. Well, in actuality, self-reliance is more important. He's a very smart guy, but he lacks a spiritual. It's always science, science, science. His version of science and proof. However, he dives really deep into rationalism. To the point, I think he does use tech too much and analyzes too much. He does not look like a masculine guy. Does he have game? Probably not. And this nerd thinks that self-driving cars are happening soon. And that might be hyped up behavior. Think about control. The power of America. Everything depends on them. The right people to do the job. Are useless people, are they useless idiots? And when people have less skills, they use it or lose it. They can become dependent on the system. A perpetual child never getting towards self-reliance. A nation of white knights. Protect versus no risk. Next up, I'm going to talk about algorithms. It's just going to do what it does. There's no responsibility. It's not something that has an agenda of not my fault. It just does. I don't know. It can discriminate and guide. It can influence the influencer. And who gets the attention? Engineers may power the code, but the higher-ups are pushing them, manipulating them to do the dirty work. Just do it. It is the automation revolution. Uber's algorithm will pick and choose. Twitch's algorithm will give subs to certain people to try to convince who will re-sub again. They choose what's best for them. The market. It's a hook. There's a rise of digital dictatorships. Corporations may sell out the individual. And I like this term. He said, Liberty Big Data is watching you. Adults don't like to change. He does dwell into capitalism and communism. What is the future of education, which I've already explained before. What is the best? You may have to reinvent yourself, so we don't know. And you got to stay one step ahead of the algorithms. Go outside. Just don't care. You're not going to learn this in schools or just sitting down. Humans can be really lazy. Just go outside. Here are some top takeaways. There is power of the story. We could work in a group and be inspired just by one story. Or repeating that story. 
Go dig yourself into philosophy if you need answers. Check out the philosophers. See money as a story. and That will eliminate much of the finance books. Give gifts and respect the game. Expect nothing back. Yuval is not exactly high energy. However, he makes things fun. Start meditating and relaxing. In other words, focus, bro. And make sure you check out all the links below. There's a fairly good interview with Russell Brand and the Lizard King. Check out my other reviews of Sapiens and Homo Deus, which will be on the screen in a few seconds. And I do highly recommend all his books. 